Hello, and welcome to another edition of One Bad Veggie's Rugby Review, where in this review, we're not concerned about labels. Literally. So, uh, yeah, this review uh, will be about a root beer called, well, actually, I don't know what the actual name of it is. Uh, the only thing that I've been able to find is literally what came with the root beer. Uh, I was a member of a uh, subscription uh, root beer thing, like, uh, you know, like BarkBox, but for people and root beer. Anyway, this was all I was ever given. It was just the bottle with this little note here, which I will read for you. <laughs> Dear valued customer, included in this variety pack is no label root beer. Despite its appearance, it is an actual brand. As for the taste, it is sweet, creamy. It is on the sweet, creamy, and vanilla side. Their motto is create your own brand. So, I uh, did a little bit of research and uh, tried to see if I could find out what this create your own brand uh, thing could possibly be. The only thing I could find was a company called Private Label Specialties. Uh, and it, uh, I never saw a, um, anything on there that said create your own brand, but I feel like that's probably... If it's not them, it's probably someone else within the same kind of business. Basically, uh, this this private label specialties, they uh, sell uh, drinks for parties and stuff like that. And they print out labels for you to put on the root beers and stuff like that. So like if you wanted them for a wedding and you wanted pictures of the bride and the groom on it or something like that, that's what they do is they sell bottled drinks and put specialty labels on it for your uh, activity or your business or whatever you're doing, right? So uh, that's the only thing I could find that could possibly be uh, what this is. Now, I don't know if that if this is actually that company, this private label specialties company. Uh, I find that uh, pretty interesting. But um, yeah, so... Uh, this is a strange one so let's uh let's go ahead and get into the ingredients so the ingredients should be showing up right there there are no ingredients there's no ingredients at all uh <laughs> let's go ahead and look at the bottle um I mean, uh, you know, I like to talk about simplicity sometimes. Maybe this one's taken a little too far, taken a little bit too far. Again, like I said, if it is some sort of, if it is the specialty company or a company like the specialty company, it makes sense. Why would you do all that stuff? I, I am a little bit annoyed that even when I did go to the website for uh, the specialty company, uh, they didn't have a list of ingredients for um, the the root beer on there anyway, or any of their drinks, which is kind of frustrating. But um, maybe that's a good thing because I didn't, I wouldn't exactly necessarily want to contribute or uh, attribute uh, false information if this isn't actually the same company. So I guess that's probably fine. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> I can't. We're just gonna skip ahead and uh, sniff the mystery drink. All right, let's go ahead and. Pop this open. Oh, good. Screw top. Okay. Not much of a pop there. So, let's see how fizzy it is. <laughs> it actually smells pretty good. Um, what did the what did I say the paper said? It said, as for the taste, it is on the sweet, creamy vanilla side, and uh, I actually. I agree with that. It's uh, that's exactly what I smell. I smell definitely strong hint of vanilla when I opened it up. And uh, as always, that's going to be a big positive for me, uh, assuming that it's actually a big part of the flavor and everything. So um, let's try it one more time here. Let me see. Yeah, that's 
it almost reminds me of and i know i just did this one and I, and it may be just fresh in my head or something like that it almost reminds me of gales in a way because it's not just vanilla there's uh, a spice or something in there that's standing out and uh anyway um i mean assuming again that it's this private private label uh, specialties company um they do say on their website that it is simply the simply put the best root beer in the world so i mean who knows what we're getting into right now let's go ahead and check the pour in the foam so we've got the old trusty mug out let's go ahead and pour this now like i said when i opened it it didn't fizz like i uh, like a uh, normal root beer does so hopefully this isn't like a, a flat one but who knows this is all just a mystery Well, I can say that's not exactly a promising, uh, <laughs> not exactly necessarily a promising look there. As you can see, there's uh, absolutely no foam on this one. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but it also means that I am not going to get to try to taste the foam either. So uh, I guess then, you know, when you don't have a label and you don't have ingredients and you don't have any of that stuff, it makes for a pretty quick review. So let's go ahead and get into the taste test. All right, bottoms up. So this one's kind of crazy. Um, I was expecting something different for sure. Um, a lot of root beers um, kind of taste similar because I have a feeling that a lot of places where they get uh made are actually like maybe there's maybe they're all kind of part of the same batch and just slap different labels on them honestly i could be wrong but i do feel like that that probably does happen to a certain extent although i feel like i've been proven wrong by that especially if you go back at like our rocket fizz series every one of those tasted different so perhaps that's not the truth either way my assumption was this is just going to be a very normal flavored root beer nothing a c you know but after that first sniff i was like the uh, getting the scent i was like this seems like it might actually be pretty good and um Gosh, I feel like I've been so generous lately with my scores. But to be totally honest with you, I this one reminds me a lot of Gales, actually. Which, like I said, I know that's literally the last one that I had, so maybe it's just me thinking that. But you know, it's been over a week since I since I drank that, and 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 it's not like the. F not like the flavors lingering in, in, in my memory or anything like that, but it just is like, it has that thing, like with Gales, where there is some sort of spice. And I mean, it's hard, like, I don't wanna, you know, without the ingredients, it's hard for me to say. And I know that's kind of the point of this thing is that I should be able to taste this and be like, yes, these are the flavors that I taste. <laughs> There's something, there's, there's something nutmeggy or cinnamony or something in it, right? Um, and the, the vanilla stands out a little bit more than Gale's, I will say, which is a positive. I think that's a good thing. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's got, it's got that well-rounded flavor that I enjoy. But it also has, but the, the spices that are in it are also significant and change the flavor enough to give it a, a uniqueness that uh, I think is a, is a positive thing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about this one for a little bit and uh, then I'm gonna give it a score. So. So yeah, this one ends up being kind of crazy. I really did not expect 
uh, as much from this as I, as, as I got, that's for certain. Um, the hardest part about this one is, is like, usually I like to do these reviews and I like to, um, present these reviews in a way where I'm like, Hey, this is a buyer's choice sort of thing. Here's the things that I think about it. And then if it sounds good to you, you can go out and buy it yourself and find it wherever it is or, you know, so on and so forth. But this one, I can't do that because I literally don't know what it is. And like I said, the the only option, the only thing I could find is the, is that one one company, the the, the um, private label company. And the thing is, is, is on their website, I did look at their FAQ on there and they do mention that the drinks that they make are not a no brand um manufactured drink they claim that it's their own personal recipes for everything so uh that's super interesting i think again assuming that it's this company's root beer but we don't know for sure <laughs> but who knows um i mean who knows this this could just be a bottle of gales where the label fell off and then i got sent this and there's this chicanery and it's it's all false saying all that and everything you know there's absolutely no way that i can give this any less than an a because it's evoking the same basic flavors that gales has and um you know it's it's weird to say that because it's just this literally no labeled root beer that uh I, I don't know what I don't know what else to say about it because they're it's such a mystery that there really isn't much more to say about it. Um, I almost wish I could uh, purchase this uh, private label root beer by itself so that way I could confirm this. But the thing is, is you have to buy it in bulk, and I'm not <laughs> throwing a business party anytime soon, so there's no reason to do that. Um, I am so curious, and I do remember in the past when I originally got this bottle of root beer, I did email the company that um, sent me the root beer, uh, asking, uh, "What what is this? <laughs> like, where did it come from?" And uh, I got no response. So, I mean, I tried to do my due diligence and trying to figure out what this is. So, um, anyway, uh, I, so yeah, I guess that's it for this one. Hey, and that's it for this one. Um, I mean, that was, like I said, probably short and sweet and to the point. And um, the next one's going to be a re-review, uh, as it usually is. We alternate. Although I think uh, I got off that uh, alternate thing when I did the uh, old school brewing because I just really wanted to review that one as soon as I could. But otherwise, uh, yeah, nothing new to report. So just remember to like and subscribe and comment if you want to. And if you don't, well then, I hope you had a good time.